Today's topic is anti-anginal drugs part 2. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. Dr. Shahnaz Malik here. Uh, we have already discussed uh, nitrates in the part 1. Shorter acting nitrates are glycerol trinitrate and isosorbid dinitrate. Isosorbid dinitrate given sublingually. These shorter acting nitrates are given in acute condition or in emergency condition when longer acting nitrates like isosorbid dinitrate and isosorbid mononitrate. These are longer acting nitrate. Isosorbid dinitrate given by oral route in for prophylactic purpose. Now next group is beta blocker. Drugs are propranolol, metoprolol, atenolol. These drugs are beta blocker and so, beta blockers like propranolol, metoprolol, atenolol and timolol. These are beta blockers and they act on beta receptor are present on the heart. Beta 1 receptor are present on heart and these all drugs block this receptor and inhibit or decrease heart rate, decrease force of contraction, decrease cardiac output and decrease myocardial oxygen consumption. Beta blockers have a slower onset of action. They use for prophylactic purpose due to its uh, slower action and uh, it um, uh, improve exercise tolerance as well as reduce frequency of anginal episodes. So use of beta blocker without intrinsic uh, sympathomimetic activity decrease mortal mortality in patient. In recent MI, it should be started as early as possible and continued indefinitely. Cardio selective beta blocker should be preferred and uh, beta blocker with intrinsic sympathomimetic should be avoided because they contain uh, minimal sympathomimetic activity which was in the angina. So beta blockers like atenolol and metoprolol are used in unstable angina unless it is contraindicated. Beta blockers are contraindicated in variant or principal angina which occurs due to coronary vasospasm. Coronary artery has alpha 1 and beta 2 adrenergic receptors. If beta 2 receptors are blocked by beta blocker then alpha 1 receptor action is unopposed causes vasoconstriction occur and which version the angina. Now, beta blockers can increase the left ventricular and diastolic volume by decrease heart rate, decrease myocardial contractility and decrease cardiac output. So, increase left ventricular and diastolic volume. This is the side effect of the beta blocker. Now, disadvantage of beta blocker can be counteracted by combined with nitrates. Beta blocker can uh, causes vasospasm due to unopposed action of alpha receptor. Causes vasospasm occur and which can be counteracted by nitrates. Now, other disadvantages like uh, it exacerbate cardiac failure, peripheral vascular diseases and precipitate bronchospasm in patient with bronchial asthma. Now, beta blocker should not be withdrawn abruptly because it may precipitate dangerous arrhythmia or myocardial infarction due to uh, upregulation of the beta receptor. So, now third group is calcium channel blocker. Drugs are verapamil, deltiazim and amlodipine. This drug act on the L type of calcium channel and inhibit this channel and act on the heart. Now, calcium channel blockers are like uh, verapamil, diltiazim, nifedipine, amlodipine, clinidipine, uh, nicardipine, philodipine, isradipine, nisoldipine, and lacidipine. These all are calcium channel blockers. Now, mechanism of calcium channel is it act on, on voltage sensitive L type of calcium channel which are predominantly present in cardiac as well as smooth muscle of the blood vessel. So, calcium channel blockers uh, inhibit voltage sensitive L type of calcium channel by binding to alpha subunit, prevent entry of calcium into the cell, 
no excitation contraction coupling in the heart and vascular smooth muscle occur and cardiac depression detection and dilatation of arterioles can occur now calcium channel blocker act mainly on the cardiac as well as smooth muscle they have little effect on the vein so they do not alter the preload now verapamil has predominant action on the heart it depresses heart decrease force of contraction and reduce oxygen requirement of the heart and uh, also depress sa node as well as av node and prolong effective refractory period and verapamil has less coronary and peripheral vasodilatation than the dihydropyridine group Diltiazem is uh, dilate peripheral as well as coronary arteries but vasodilator property is uh, less marked than dihydropyridine and uh, verapamil it is cardiac depressant causes negative inotropic chronotropic and dromotropic effect uh, it used in treatment of hypertension and supraventricular arrhythmia and prophylaxis for angina Dihydropyridine is more selective for calcium channel in vascular smooth muscle and in uh, arterial dilator reduce peripheral vascular resistance and do not produce significant cardiac depressant effect at the dose which produces vasodilatation Dihydropyridine are selective for calcium channel blocker present at the smooth muscle of the arterial and uh, reduce peripheral vascular resistance and do not affect on the cardiac uh, depressant effect so relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle causes coronary vasodilatation and peripheral vasodilatation causes decrease afterload and decrease oxygen consumption of myocardium Now nifedipine is the prototype drug of the dihydropyridine group. It has predominant action of the vascular smooth muscle, peak level in the blood uh, rapidly attain and causes uh, rapid vasodilatation occur, fall in blood pressure, reflex tachycardia, flushing and palpitation can occur. So this effect can be minimized by using sustained release uh, uh, preparation or it can be combined with beta blocker to reduce Uh, reflex tachycardia and all other side effects amlodipine is another drug from the dihydropyridine group it is mainly used for angina and hypertension it is more potent and has longer duration of action than nifedipine and it dilate both peripheral and coronary vessels high oral bioavailability and absorb slowly after oral administration so side effect like uh, palpitation reflex tachycardia are less than nifedipine and uh, common side effects are like headache and ankle edema and reflex post capillary constriction can occur and increase hydrostatic pressure of ankle edema now antiangina effect of nicotine is similar to nifedipine it act predominantly on the coronary vessels now philodipine is greater vasculature selectivity than nifedipine and amlodipine but adverse effect are similar to nifedipine like produce tachycardia and palpitation uh, lecithipine and benedipine are longer duration of action nimodipine has higher lipid solubility and freely crosses the blood vein barrier so selectively uh, dilate the cerebral blood vessel vessels and uh, prevent cerebral vasospasm and subsequent neurological defect in patient with subarachnoid hemorrhage so it is useful in nimodipine is useful in subarachnoid hemorrhage now pharmacokinetic of calcium channel blockers all calcium channel blocker are well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and undergoes varying degree of first pass metabolism all are highly bound to plasma protein and metabolized from liver and excreted in urine now adverse effect of uh, calcium channel blocker nifedipine verapamil and diltiazem uh, nifedipine adverse effect of nifedipines are hypotension palpitation reflex tachycardia is the main adverse effect of nifedipine and it can be overcome by uh, giving sustained release nifedipine tablet so it can counteract by sustained release tablet edema can seen with nifedipine verapamil and deltiazem with three drug flushing fatigue 
dizziness and sedation can seen with nifedipine verapamil uh, can cause constipation sinus bradycardia edema av block and headache when diltiazem cause hypotension headache bradycardia edema and av block these all are adverse effect of the calcium channel blockers now uses of uh, calcium channel blockers are uh, like in the excessional angina or in stable angina beneficial effect in the angina pectoris calcium channel blockers are uh, due to decrease myocardial oxygen consumption by decrease heart rate decrease force of contraction and decrease after load and dilatation of the coronary arteries causes uh, beneficial effect in the angina dihydropyridine pyridine like uh, amlodipine nifedipine sr preparation nicardipine diltiazem and verapamil are also used in the stable angina diltiazem preferred over verapamil due to fewer side effect dihydropyridine like uh, nifedipine and filodipine uh, may aggravate anginal symptom by because of reflex tachycardia which can be counteracted by Uh, giving sr preparation of nifedipine or uh, with combination with beta blocker to decrease reflex tachycardia now variant angina is due to coronary vasospasm amlodipine nifedipine sr preparation and diltiazem are used for prophylactic purpose to prevent coronary spasm so frequency and severity of attack can be reduced if uh, drugs are uh, combined with dihydropyridine and nitrates which shows increase efficacy in patient with angina variant angina in unstable angina calcium channel blockers are um, used when symptoms are not relieved by beta blocker or nitrates or beta blocker are contraindicated then calcium channel blocker can be given other uses are uh, supraventricular arrhythmia verapamil is used full in supraventricular arrhythmia because it depresses as a node and av node and prolong the refractory period and decrease conduction velocity uh, therefore uh, reduces the ventricular rate and atrial uh, uh, flutter and atrial fibrillation deltiazem is also useful but it is less effective than verapamil other uses of calcium channel blockers are like uh, hypertension deltiazem and verapamil are used in hypertension uh, they control blood pressure by uh, vasodilator effect and safely used in hypertension with uh, hypertensive patient with asthma where beta blockers are contraindicated hyperlipidemia and renal dysfunction nicardipine is used in hypertensive emergencies and uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy verapamil is preferred to improve diastolic function uh, calcium channel blockers like verapamil and flunarizine are given in uh, migraine for prophylaxis purpose uh, flunarizine is more effective than verapamil reduce frequency of migraine attack in renaud's phenomenon peripheral vasospastic condition where nifedipine amlodipine filodipine and diltiazem can be used to treat this condition nifedipine is used as a uterine relaxant in premature labor and uh, nimodipine is um, a lipid soluble drug and in, um, easily cross the blood brain barrier so it is used in the vasospasm in the subarachnoid hemorrhage now next group of drug is potassium channel opener and uh, drug is nicorendine potassium channel opener uh, or potassium channel activated drug is nicorendine it is administered orally and it causes uh, vasodilator as well as arterial dilator improve coronary blood flow tolerance does not develop and side effects are uh, headache palpitation hypotension flushing nausea vomiting ulcer in mouth etc now mechanism of action of nicorendine is open atp dependent potassium channel efflux of potassium hyperpolarization of cell venodilatation as well as arterial dilatation decrease preload and decrease afterload another action is release nitric oxide in endothelium increase cyclic gmp and relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle um, uh, vascular smooth muscles ultimately vasodilatation as well as arterial dilatation occur now last group is other anti anginal drug like uh, trimetazidine renolazine 
evabridin and dipyridamone. Now drug is ranolazine. Uh, mechanism of action of ranolazine is when ischemia occur, increased flow of lead type of sodium channel and due to ischemia activation of reverse mode of sodium and calcium exchanger and uh, overload of sodium and overload of calcium. Due to overload of calcium increase the cardiac contractility and increase oxygen demand. So, ranolazine inhibit increase uh, inhibit late type of sodium channel and decrease calcium overload and decrease uh, cardiac contractility and improve oxygen supply and increase diastolic tension. So this is the mechanism of action of ranolazine and uh, it is used orally in chronic angina and decrease number of attacks and improve exercise tolerance and it can uh, prolong Q2 interval. Now drug is trimetazidine. Uh, during ischemia, the myocardium uh, derives energy mainly from the fatty acid oxidation, increase on oxygen consumption. So, trimetazidine uh, fatty acid oxidation inhibitor, partially inhibition of fatty acid oxidation in myocardium and increase use of glucose in myocardium for energy and decrease myocardial oxygen consumption. Improve exercise tolerance and decrease frequency of angina. It is used orally in exertional angina in, in combination with other drugs. Uh, now, evabridine, it is uh, action uh, is on the SA node and uh, reduces the heart rate and decrease myocardial oxygen demand, decrease frequency of angina and used in sinus tachycardia, drug, uh, adverse drug reaction is bradycardia. Next drug is uh, dipyridamol, dilate coronary blood vessel and causes coronary still phenomena by increased blood flow to non ischemic area. Now combination therapy, nitrate and beta blocker can be used in combination because nitrate can counteract the uh, effect of left ventricular and diastolic volume associated with propranol and nitrate causes vasodilatation and decreased peripheral resistance and reflex tachycardia can occur due to nitrates and this uh, tachy reflex tachycardia can be counteracted by beta blocker. So in combination nitrate and beta blocker can be given. Now combination of nifedipine and beta blocker. Beta blockers are block the reflex tachycardia associated with nifedipine and coronary vasospasm by beta blocker is prevented by nifedipine. So in this combination useful in classical angina with associated coronary spasm. Now combination of beta blocker and verapamil or beta blocker and deltiazim should be avoided because both of drug like beta blocker and verapamil or beta blocker and deltiazim uh, having a uh, cardiac depressant effect like SA0 Avinod and cardiac contractility are decreased or depressed, so leading to heart block, heart failure, and cardiac arrest can occur. Now, calcium channel blocker and nitrates. Uh, net effect of uh, uh, combination is additive, reduce in myocardial oxygen demand, and improve coronary blood flow. Uh, this combination is useful in severe variant angina. Next group is nitrate and beta blocker and calcium channel blocker. This combination is especially useful in severe type of and resistant cases of excessional angina and unstable angina. Now combination therapy with the sildenafil, tadalafil or nitrates. So sildenafil potential vasodilator action in uh, of the nitrate skin cause uh, myocardial infarction and sudden death can occur. Nitrates should be avoided for 24 hours after the use of sildenafil. Now, uh, pharmacotherapy of the acute myocardial infarction. So, first of all, antiplatelet agent should be provided within uh, as soon as diagnosed or suspected case of myocardial infarction. So, aspirin 162 to 325 milligram orally should be given. If the patient is allergic to aspirin, clopidogrel 300 milligram should administered. Antiplatelet agent should be continued once it start, once daily. Analgesia intravenous morphine 10 milligram for relieve the pain. 
एंटीमेटिक रक लाइक प्रोमिथाजिन 25 टू 50 मिलीग्राम स्लो आईवी टू प्रिवेंट ओपियोइड इंड्यूस वॉमिटिंग नाउ नाइट्रेट्स आर गिवन इंट्रावेनस नाइट्रोग्लिसरीन फॉर रिकरेंट और परसिस्टेंट पेन एंड टू ट्रीट लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर फेलियर लो फ्लो ऑफ ऑक्सीजन थेरापी 2 टू 4 लीटर पर मिनट reperfusion or reperfusion therapy like uh, percutaneous coronary intervention or thrombolytic therapy thrombolytic therapy with streptokinase or alteplase or tenecteplase or retiplase is used to restore coronary patency and reperfusion of infected area anticoagulants like uh, low molecular weight heparin or unfractionated heparin is given to prevent reinfarction or thromboembolic complication prevention now beta blockers beta blockers should be admi administered during uh, first 24 hours unless it is contraindicated and uh, it uh, prevent a reinfarction arrhythmia and reduce mortality and as inhibitor like remipril and arb like valsartan are administered as it improve survival statin like atorvastatin should be started to uh, prevent secondary prevention and reduce thrombotic event and reinfarction and acidosis is uh, treated with intravenous sodium bicarbonate now peripheral vascular diseases like uh, burger disease and renaults phenomena so burger disease is due to it is seen in uh, smoker due to inflammation and blocked of blood vessel of extremities reduced blood flow and pain in legs and arm while walking and using the arm it is intermittent intermittent claudication next is the renault phenomenon spasm of smaller arteries of skin in response to cold and stress affected area turn to white and blue due to cyanosis skin feels cold treatment include uh, lifestyle modification smoking cessation weight reduction control hypertension diabetes and regular exercise and uh, should use drug now classification of drug are used in uh, peripheral vascular diseases like antiplatelet drug like uh, aspirin and clopidogrel phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitor like uh, cilastazole rheological agent like pentoxifilin beta adrenergic agonist like uh, isoprene calcium channel blockers are nifedipine and philodipine alpha blocker is prazosin and other drugs are like uh, cyclandylate xanthinol nicotinate prostacycline and vitamin a all these drugs are useful in peripheral vascular diseases now drug is pentoxifilin it is rheological agent and useful orally it increase flexibility of rbc in blood vessel improve microcirculation and improve blood flow to ischemic area adverse effect are nausea vomiting and epigastric distress second one is cilostazole it is also useful orally and mechanism is it inhibit phosphodiesterase 3 enzyme and increase cyclic amp in the vascular smooth muscle and platelet vasodilatation and antiplatelet activity uh, can occur and symptoms improves uh, side effects are headache and palpitation now drug is cyclandylate and it relaxes vascular smooth muscle or relieve vasospasm adverse effect are headache and palpitation xanthinol nicotinate also vasodilator improve blood flow in ischemic area uh, adverse effects are rashes flushing and itching now prostaglandin so it is also vasodilator improve blood flow to ischemic area and promote healing of ischemic ulcer adverse effect are flushing and hypotension so in renaults disease drugs are useful like prazosin amlodipine philodipine all are vasodilator and it can be useful in renaults disease thank you for watching the video